All right. Example seven. All right. This is, well, I said the last one was the hardest problem, and I lied. <laughs> this one is a competing precipitate and then with a percentage. Yeah. This was an old question on the AP exam a long time ago, and this is a nasty one. Okay. At 25, we have the KSP for strontium sulfate. Okay. What is the molar solubility of the strontium sulfate in pure water? Actually, this is a relatively easy question. Okay, so we know strontium sulfate, so SR, SO4. All right, sorry, we had an interruption there. <coughs> so strontium sulfate dissociates into SR2 positive plus the sulfate 2 minus. And it's just finding, it's the question, what's the molar solubility? Yep. This is an easy this question. This is solving for X. This is solving for S. Oh, sorry, S. S, it breaks into S and S, right? Yep. So the value of strontium sulfate they gave us to us in the problem was 7.6 times 10 to the minus 7th. That equals S squared. You just take the square root, don't you, Mr. Yep. Sams? So S equals... 8.7 times 10 to the negative 4. times 10 to the minus 4th molar. And that is the molar solubility of the strontium sulfate. Yeah. So actually, let me just make a quick note about these particular types of problems. Um, if you get a problem, uh, an AP problem, usually question A is a softball. Yeah. Easy smeezy. Okay, now B, C, D, you know, maybe not maybe so Maybe not so easy. So in fact, I think like D on this one is a bugger. And you often have to use the answer for A in the rest of the problem, so don't screw that one up. Yeah, well, and another thing, though, if you do screw that up and you know that the answer and know how to solve part, say, C, yeah. and you need the answer from part B, write this word. Write assume... The answer to B is make up a number. How about a 1 times yeah. 10 to the minus 4th molar or something you, like that? If you do it right with the wrong number, you'll still get credit. Now, granted, you'll make your grader really cranky, and you better hope it's not Friday afternoon at 4.58 when they're grading it, but um, they're supposed to give you credit for it. Because you see what he has to do is he has to punch into his calculator. That's calculator. Yes. Um, you noticed that, right? Yes, and they'll be cursing you the whole time. Because they have to actually run with your assumption, assumed number, your numbers through, to see if you got the answer correct based upon that. Yep. So you can do that, and that's how we will grade your exams as well. That's yep. how we always have. All right. Okay, so this is part A, of course. And again, we, a commentation that this is a relatively easy part. So let's now look at part B. Also okay. relatively yeah. easy. Yeah, this one's not terribly difficult. It says, what is the molar solubility? Now, what's that asking for? Uh, well, basically, we're solving for S. Yeah, just what's S is all they're asking for. Sulfur, sulfur, strontium fluoride. So yep. you'd say SR, F2, dissociates into SR2 positive and two fluorides. So that'll break apart into S and uh, 2S. So, and then the KSP for strontium fluoride. Uh, 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10. That's given in the problem. This was given in the problem. Now, you've got to make sure you realize that, what's given in the problem. So this is the S times the quantity 2S squared. Now, this is going to come out to, I like to just think this through, 2 squared is 4, mm -hmm. and then the S, square, S squared times S, this is 4S cubed. So divide by 4. Yep. And take the cubed root, or take it to the one-third power. One S third is equal power. to... 5.8 times 10 to the negative 4. 5.8, 10 minus 4. Mo letter T! That's your answer, folks. Indeed, indeed. All right, hey, A and B weren't too bad. Or no, those C? are easy. Don't mess those up. That's pretty easy. Now, yep. C. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Which salt precipitates first? Now, we did a problem like this. We just ago. did, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is just one of those ones where we say, all right, let's switch one. This is where you've got the beaker. Yep. All right. All right, now what have we got here? We've got in, uh, let's think this through. We've got strontium nitrate is added slowly. That, now, what we care about in the strontium nitrate being added slowly is the strontium plus two. Mm -hmm. And what's down in the beaker is some fluorides and some sulfates. sulfates. Now, just remember that we just determined the molar, molar solubility of strontium sulfate and strontium fluoride. And the so we've fluoride is 0.10, and the sulfate... Pardon me, I did that backwards. Nope. The yep. fluoride is 0 0.02 molar, and the sulfate is 0 0.10 molar. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, by the way, this is strontium sulfate. I should just make a note. Strontium sulfate. Is that one of our exceptions, Mr. Sams? Uh, it is. Yes. It is. I'm not sure we have that in their memory list. All sulfates are Except soluble. It's like barium, strontium. Oh, yeah, it's barium, yeah. strontium, related. And this is yeah. one of those exceptions. Okay. So the question is, which is going to precipitate first? Yep. Remember, we like to set this up in a two-column type of a deal. Mm -hmm. I'll do the strontium fluoride here, and that dissociates into strontium, two positive, and two fluorides. And then conversely, strontium sulfate dissociates into strontium, two positive, and sulfate. 
and now we know something about our fluoride and our sulfate. Yes, the fluoride the is 0 .020 molar. 0 .020 molar, and the sulfate, sulfate is 0 .10. 0 .10. All right. Now, essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for the strontium concentration, or S, mm -hmm. the molar solubility. So our KSP of strontium fluoride. Strontium fluoride, KSP, 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10. And that will be equal to S times 0 0.020 squared. Now, you do have to square it because of this. And so the solubility, or the concentration of the strontium, really, this is actually the concentration of the strontium when the precipitate forms. Mm -hmm. When you just do the math, you take uh, 7.9 times 10 to the minus 10 divided by 0 0.02 squared, mm -hmm. and you get 1.975 times 10 to the negative 6. So you call it 2.0, I suppose. All right, and then this one, we'll say, what's the uh, KSP of strontium uh, 7. sulfate? 7.6 times 10 to the negative 10. 10 sorry. 7. No, negative 7. 7.6 times 10 to the negative 7. Well, who does? 7.6 7. 6. 6. times 10 to the negative 7. That's given in the problem. Okay, equals S yep. times 0. 0.10. And this will be the first power, because there's a 1 right there, implied. So you just divide by 0. 0.1. That's 7.6 yep. to the minus 6, right? Yep. 7.6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. And that's the concentration of the strontium when it starts to precipitate. Right. So which one wins? Uh, the one that is smallest wins. No, I think it's the highest one. Is it the highest? No, it's the smallest. It's the smallest, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you see because in 1.98, or essentially 2, yep. is smaller than, and they're both 10 to the minus 6, right? Yep. So the smallest one, the, the cause let's think back to the picture again. Yeah. As we add the the strontium nitrate into it, we're going to hit that lower concentration first, causing the one with the lower S value to precipitate out first. So you're going to make SRF2, -R -F and you'll make this first. Yep. Is that the right one? Uh -huh. Did I pick the right yep. one? I'm sorry. Forget. That's right. Yeah, the strontium fluoride, because it's going to precipitate when it's roughly 2 times 10 to the minus 6 molar, and the strontium sulfate, when it's 7 times 10 to the minus 6-ish, yep. it's going to start precipitating. Yep. So it's a simple answer. Now, it's not simple. You have to actually say the SRF2 precipitates first, first and because then do because the concentration of the strontium is lower. Yeah. It, it, I think it asks you to justify the it, answer. This one actually doesn't, but it just says which salt precipitates first. Okay, but you have to show yeah, the work. Yeah, show if your work. If you didn't work. show the work, you wouldn't get the points. No. Okay. But if you're All completely right. clueless, you could at least guess. You now, get something. <laughs> I think this question is somewhat confusing, but it's not horrid if you think it through. What is the concentration of the strontium ion in the solution when the first precipitate begins to form. We just, actually, solved, we just solved that. I was problem. thinking of the next problem, yeah, probably. We just this solved is that easy. problem. Yeah. Actually, I almost think you need to answer this problem first, first before you can answer which precipitates first. Right. And of course, that answer is 1.98 times 10 to the negative 6. So right. 1.98 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. That's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah the, there uh, may be some other way to solve it that goes another order or something. All right. but As more strontium nitrate is added to the mixture, a second precipitate forms. Mm -hmm. At that stage, what's the percent of the anion of anion of uh, the anion, I, I think this through here, hold on. Okay, way to figure this out, we're missing some words here. Yeah. Of the first precipitate remains, so copy this down in your notes, in solution. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to say. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. Okay, now. The first precipitate was the strontium fluoride. So let's go back to this chart. It all mm -hmm. comes back to this chart right here. Let's change colors here. Okay, the strontium fluoride was the first substance to precipitate. Precipitate. The second precipitate happens when this concentration reaches 7.6 times 7.6. Yes. The question is, how much of the strontium sulfate of the 0 0.02 remains? Fluoride, you mean? Uh, but yeah, of the. How much? How many? How much fluoride ions are yeah. left when the strontium sulfate starts to go? Yeah, as a percentage. Yeah. And actually, this is not horribly difficult. What you have to do is that you have to take this. This is the concentration of the strontium. Mm -hmm. You're going to take this number, and you're going to plug this into right here as your strontium concentration, and then you're going to solve for the fluoride concentration. This becomes X, if you will. Yes. And so let's do that. So you have to go back, and we're going to say... 7.9 .9 times 10 to the what is Negative it? 10. Negative 10. And that is going to equal... Let me go back to that page. 7.6. 7.6 7 7 times 10 to the minus 6. Is it squared? I think it is. Yes. Times x 
squared. Now our X is the concentration of the fluoride when the, con when the concentration of the strontium reaches this. So you divide by 7.6 and take the square root and you get? Uh, 0 0.010. 0 0.010. Now this is pretty easy because it, the original concentration of the fluoride, so the F negative, say, original, as I recall, was 0.020. Yes. Well, 0 0.010 divided by 0 0.020 times 100 is not hard math, folks. That is a 50% 50 deal. Yep. So 50% of it has been reacted away. All right? Okay, I think we are very almost done. I think... More examples. I don't know. Do we need to do more I examples? Think we're probably pretty good there. I think we're happy campers. So I think that is done. So don't forget to ask Mr. Sam some more details yes. about the... Speech and debate the injury. speech and debate injury. I'll bet there's more to that story he hasn't told you. Yeah, that's most of it. Probably so. Okay, we will see you um, in class or uh, email us via internet land stuff. Bye. Bye.